Hello, so this is Mike. Um, I just wanted to bring you an update on the automatic 3D printer, which 3D prints from a web-based print queue and automatically slices everything on the server and uh, automatically prints and drops the item out to a bin underneath. This thing is almost done. Um, I have a really small print going on here. That way I can show one finishing and then one starting. So we're getting towards the end of the G-code here. And we're just going to watch here. And it's done. So what it's going to do is it's going to drop the item. There we are. So the trap door open. And this is my really, really, really tiny item. And that's my uh, comments at the top of the G code. So what it's doing is it's going and talking to the server and it should be getting a new G code file. Oh, hold on. I gotta upload a new print, hold on. So I'm going to upload a new file, I'm going to choose a file, I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to submit it. It slices on the server, shows me a preview of the G-code, there we are, and I'm going to approve it. So now over here, it's going to get that new G-code. It does this every 30 seconds, it goes and it checks. Up oh, there we are. So we have the new G-code. So it's starting to print. It's going to raise the, uh, the trap door. So it's raising the trap door now. And it's going to start printing out something from the printer. So it's going to print out the disposable piece of paper with the print job details on it. You can see the print job details right there. Kind of in the corner. So now it's waiting for the um, waiting for the printer to make sure that it's all the way printed. You know, inkjet printers are a little finicky, so I have a little extra time in here. Up oh, now it's closing, and it's just making sure the paper is seated well. So now. It's going to wait for the print head to come up to temperature. And that's going to take a little bit of time. We are almost there. <clears throat> Come on. So, it's just taking a little while to get up to the right temperature. And it's going to start printing. It's going to start printing very shortly print right there on top of that piece of paper. Oh, there we are. So it finished the job and now it's printing out the next one. So this thing can work continuously and it just drops the items out underneath the printer. So you have a nice little pile of items under there. I'm thinking about putting a little bin down there. So this here is what it just printed off. Okay. It gave me the, uh, the details for the person who printed it. And there's the item. It's a very tiny little thing. I printed out a little tiny cube. So 
There it is. A little tiny cube. And right there is a, uh, in my browser, I'm just going to kind of center this and zoom in. That right there is a preview of the G-code path that this thing is going to print out. And this one's almost done. You can actually, uh, we can actually look at it. Um, if I look at the scroll bar over here on my custom G-code sender, it's almost at the end. So let's see. Let's just watch and see when it finishes and drops the item. Oh, and in the meantime, I'm going to upload another file just so that we don't have to wait to, to watch it print something else. Uh, let's see. Let's just get this approved. Okay, so I got another thing in the queue. Oh, that one just dropped. Oh. So that one just dropped, and we could see where it printed out. Um, you know, there's a little junk here left over from the last print, and it's raising the trap door again. Getting ready for the printer to print out another sheet of paper. There we are, printed it out. Now the print bed's gonna close here in a second. Oh, there we are. It's, it's going to seat the paper here. It's going to open and close a couple times, just a little bit, just to make sure it's seated properly. And now it's going to bring the heater, heating element up to temperature. You can see that we still have a little bit of filament. Oh, did I hit something? What did I hit? I bumped something. Okay. I bumped a wire or something. I don't know what I did, but I'm getting all sorts of errors here from the printer. Printer stopped and heater disabled due to this error. Heater sensor failure? Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go and figure out what's going on with that. Um, but I've had it continuously printing here, as you can see. I'm just going to go and there we are. You can see the little item I printed off. And I can peel it off the paper. It comes, it comes right off. So there's the little cube. It has a little bit of junk left over from the last print job um, from the from the nozzle because I didn't clean the nozzle off. So maybe that's what I got to add next. That way I don't get this little glob of plastic where it first starts. But other than that, it's working. So, woo!